I recall there's a little depression up here. With some pretty good sized Venus flytraps in it. You were gonna show me how they is. worked. Yeah, let me get down there and see if we can get one of those to close up. Let me see if I can get this stick in position, Jim. I think this will work. Mm -hmm. A little triggering here is on the inside. Oop, look at this. Look, look, at, at, look that. at that. See? Closes right up. Again, if an insect or a spider or whatever was in there, after it was caught and trapped by that little trap, then digestive fluid would be produced. Let Closes try very quickly. Yeah, pretty rapid. This is an active trap, not passive. Oops, look, look at, that. at that. Not a passive trap like the uh, pitcher plants. And see, it's hard to, look at this. Hard to get that little stick out. Will it stay closed for quite some time? Stay closed, but since there's nothing in there, it'll open up, and these leaves can close and open and close and open up to 10 times before they die, and then another leaf is produced. It's amazing, Rudy. It is kind of strange, isn't it? Almost a, a primitive trap line, I've heard it called. A lot Ven of carnivorous plants today. That's the Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap, and there's another one really over there we haven't talked about yet, one called butterwort. Look at the leaves at the base that kind of fold up on the edges. Waxy leaves that slowly fold over and trap an insect. And a really pretty flower on the top. Really, there's so many wonderful things here at Cartwheel Bay. Well, special plants and animals that, like we've seen here deserve special protection. They need to protect their homes, their habitats. And thank goodness people do that around the United States. In this case, specifically the Nature Conservancy at Cartwheel Bay. So many things to see here. Come see it for yourself. It's in eastern South Carolina in Horry County. Thanks for being with us and join us again on the next Nature Scene.